at 1 December 31st, 2023, 57 a.m. Shadow T begged Shinblade during a tournament, which made Shinblade pretty upset. Here's a summary of what happened in Twitch chat. Garbage ass faker hedgehog. Teabag is qualified for Tekken World Tour. Tell the chat why I teabagged you, blue hedgehog. Allegedly, Shinblade sexually assaulted Angel at Combo Breaker last year. In his tweet, Shadow posted the chat messages, Angel's story, and a phone call Shadow had with Shinblade that might have been recorded without Shinblade knowing, but we don't know that yet. So as y'all know, I went to motherfucking Combo Breaker. Went to go support my best friend because y'all know y'all don't see him without me he introduced me to shinblade which i wasn't thinking nothing of this man okay he didn't look at me crazy he didn't he just was like what's up i know of you um i'll be seeing you on the stream sometimes i'm like yeah you know cool cool whatever that was that then i think nothing of this man cold as hell in this venue i am miserable i'm bored out of my mind i'm really ready to just go to fuck home the auction tournament come up and Shinblade begs Marquise to be in it. Marquise didn't want to be in it because he was kind of in the same boat as me, as miserable, over it. Y'all get the gist. Uh, Shinblade begs so bad that Marquise was like, okay, I'll just, I'll enter it. Shinblade got him in the tournament and then immediately after he asked me like, hey, you trying to go drink? I'm like, hell yeah. So I'm like, cool, because I'm thinking this nigga cool. He comes off cool as fuck. So I'm like, yeah, it's straight. We walking and I noticed he's walking fast as hell. Like, almost running, y'all. And I'm like, why are you walking so... Like, can you slow down? Can you, like, relax? So, we get outside, and the first thing he says is, like, what you been on? And I thought that was weird, because I'm like... Nigga, I don't... What you mean what I been on? I don't know you. So, that should have been the first red flag, and I should have ran, huh? Hey? Yep, I should have ran. But I didn't, because I was thinking about drinking. I was pressed. Was I pressed? Bench pressed. Yes, I was. He like, what you been on? I'm like, nothing. You know, I just been trucking. Um, he ignored all of that. He's like, I seen your Twitter. I should have really ran after that. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't. I was pressed. I was a girl. So I'm like, okay. Who hasn't seen my Twitter? Like, okay. Um, oh no, I'm just saying, like, I really like, I really like women like that. Like, um, I love how you open with your sexuality and you open with what you do. I'm like, I don't really do that no more. That's just what I used to do. I'm a truck driver now. Like, and he just pressed about the Twitter. I'm like, okay, whatever. Just thinking this nigga yapping. Just thinking this nigga is already a cornball, to be honest. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, whatever. We get to his truck. He get the bottle. I'm thinking, I don't want to get drunk with this man. I'm just get drunk on my own terms because I had a bottle in my car, too. So I'm going to just get drunk, you know, because he already giving those off vibes. So he get the feeling on my chest. I mean, he pull his turtleneck out. He get the beating it in front of me. I'm like, we have another one. He just get to go with him, right? And so I'm just like, I'm, I'm cool. He like, touch on it, touch on it. I'm like, mm, I'm good, I'm good. No, he started begging to fuck me. He like, can, can I please just put it in for ten seconds? I swear to God, you say, you, you say you done. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm, I'm a, I'm a stop. I'm like, mm, -mm I'm, I'm good. I'm sorry. He like, please, just ten seconds, please. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. So after about like five minutes of him begging to fuck me, I'm, I'm ready to get the fuck out this car because this nigga's strange, he weird, he got a turtleneck. Bad enough this nigga groping me up and shit and I'm just like, Egh. I get out the car, he following me, go to my car. I bend over to get like uh, my bottle out the car because I'm about to just do my own thing in my own car. You get what I'm saying? This man, while I'm bending over to get my stuff, he starts dry humping me and trying to pull my shorts to the side. And I'm pushing him back like, bro, chill. He like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, it's people out here. He like, I don't give a fuck. They can watch. I'm like, no. So after that whole interaction, I'm not sitting there depressed and sad and traumatized. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm used to men doing this and I'm used to men acting like this around me, which don't make it right, but it's just the truth. I am really used to this. So I'm like, man, I need to get back to Marquise and let him know. I go to Marquise and I'm telling him everything and he's progressively getting more and more mad as fuck. He's like, that's sexual assault. You told him no, right? I'm like, yeah. Y'all gotta understand, I was sexually assaulted when I was a kid, which neither here nor there. Um, and also like with my sex history work, men try me, bro. I'm desensitized to it. You know, like the average woman, I feel like she would be traumatized by what happened. But I just was. I didn't even know he had a girl. The man told me she was a gamer boo. I did not know the girl was at the venue. I didn't know about his girl. None of that. I did not know any of that. So to my knowledge, this is a single 
thirsty, pressed, cornball ass man. And come to find out, she has the venue. Marquise mad as fuck. Marquise is livid, as he should be, as any man would be to hear something like this. And so he's like, I'm gonna check this nigga. So he did. Shimblay lied. That's when I got mad. Cause don't lie on me. I don't know who you are from a can of paint. And I'm not the type of bitch to pin allegations on no nigga. And especially a man that ain't got nothing. Who are you? Who are you? For me to lie on. You get what I'm saying? So he get the change of his story. He's stuttering. He Cause I'm on the phone, right? I'm on Marquis's phone while Marquise is in the car with Shinblade. But that's another story for another day. But the man just capping and lying and doing all this other shit. Marquise know he lying because he can't even keep his story straight. He can't even answer questions. So a couple months go down the road, you know what I'm saying? And um, shit is just really starting to hit the fan for real, for real. So I'm like, we should probably tell Zuzu about this because as a woman, like I didn't really feel like that was my place. It wasn't Marquis' place either, but it's Shinblade's place to let his woman know what happened. He told his woman after combo breaker, oh yeah, Angel 20Z came and had a drink with me in the truck or whatever. And she was like, oh, that's cool. Didn't tell her nothing else. That's all she knew about that, right? So when Marquise told her what happened, this woman said, that can't, that can't be. That, there's no way that happened because one, I was at Combo Breaker. Two, to get to the car, the car was in Narnia and you had to fight Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks to get in the car. So there's no way they went to that motherfucking car. There's no way. That, I promise y'all, that's how crazy she sounded to me. Like, so then I get to telling her, I'm like, ain't he uncircumcised? Like, don't he talk like this? Don't he? She's like, oh, yes. It's just, this has happened before. He's had sexual allegations spent on him before. And it turned out that they were lying. They were lying on him to bring him down. And the thing is, when I when I heard her say this, it clicked in my mind. Like, I'm not the only one. I know that I know of another young lady he's done this to before. But, like, I'm not going to name drop her because that's her business. But he's done this to another friend of mine. But, like, to know that it was more people on top of it was, like, okay, so we really just got to check this and we need to nip it in the bud. Because when you stand by and let shit like this happen, you become complacent. You're helping protect the predator. And that's what he is. I'm sorry, but that's what he is. But Zuzu just was, like, guys, I just greatly appreciate it if y'all don't go public with this. And just please, whatever you do, don't go public. And, and it was, like, bro, this woman, she knows. She know how this man is. She believed everything I said once I said everything that I said about what happened. She believed me for everything. But for you to say that the other women who um, who came up with these sexual allegations were lying, it let me know everything that I needed to know that this woman is touched. I hate to say it, a beautiful girl, a beautiful woman, but that man got her brainwashed and I don't know with what. I don't know with what. But moral of the story, man, if I want to fuck on somebody, I'm going to do that. And if I don't, I'm not going to do that. Don't think I'm an easy target because of what I did in my past. I keep that up because that was a part of me. That was a part of my life, and I'm not ashamed of it, and I don't hide shit about me. And I also don't lie on that shit-ass niggas. Hello? So you saying you don't care about my house, Dan, and but that's cool. You want to apologize, but I think I, I'm over to apologize, too. Am I, am I not? For what? Shut up. And you feel hostile with me, we're not getting no work. What? Why do I owe you an apology? You are, we are in a situation where we, it's a, there's a story involved. You understand it? I am willing to squash this and us go back to how we used to be fucking boys. Pause. You don't deserve that after what you did. Okay, you said I don't deserve it and what I did. Let me just tell you this for her. I apologize for anything that could have misconstrued that what happened. I apologize for you as my friend, but once was a friend, and I really sincerely mean that shit. There was nothing misconstrued, though. I know Shadow. what you did. And you keep you Shadow. keep denying you what cannot, you did you instead cannot, of admitting Shadow. it. I cannot sit here and lie to you to forget something out. Do you understand that? So listen, man, like I said, you said you wanted to apologize. I'm, I'm apologizing to you. For I what? I apologizing to you in person. Apologizing for what? For what? Yeah, what are you apologizing for? Shut up. For this being misconstrued. There's no misconstruction. I know shut what you up. did. Do you know what you did? You are, shut up. Do what you did, shut up. Do, I, do I need to call the person that shut was up. there? Do I need to call her? 
you're telling me your best friend is not lie to you. No. I can't do nothing about that. She don't lie to me. So my she 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 didn't tell you I no like, multiple times. I have a witness of my friend being outside. He saw us walking together. So okay. He saw us in the car okay, that's fine. Did she not tell you no multiple times? Did she not tell you no multiple times? Can you answer my question, please? Can you answer my question? You're not giving me anything to believe. You just keep dodging the question. I don't give a fuck about that. You dug your own grave. I left it alone. I don't care about that. I literally left you alone. I could have simply told the chat what you did. But I'm giving you multiple chances. You are going to lie. That's all you've been doing is lying. Okay, so let's call Nikki. Let's call Nikki and ask her what happened. Okay, so what happened? Tell me what happened. We ain't forgetting to all this. Why? Why not? It's what happened. I didn't change nothing. What? You not giving me any story. So what did I tell you? Tell me what I said. So either it's been too long for you to remember the, what you said to me that day, Shadow. But listen, I'm gonna give you an apology, and you can take it or you can leave it. So I can't do nothing about this. You can't I be serious. For not even bringing this shit to the light, bringing this shit to you sooner. I'm gonna leave this bitch, Shadow. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not alright. So she lying? You told me you're not gonna believe that, Shadow. It don't matter. Is she lying? She's lying. So okay, so let's call her. So let's call her. She's not gonna lie. She she never lied. You're the one lying. I'll see you in January. I apologize and say you gonna have it, man. Let me get back in this fucking house. Can't be serious. Okay. See you in January, man. Shinblade then makes a response to the allegations. It's been brought to my attention that these false allegations are being spread around me. We will be going a legal route. We already have a lawyer on standby for this. For anyone who's believing any of these lies, you got the right to believe them. But do not bring them to us my way. We'll continue to stream. Shadow gave us answers to silly questions like, Silly question one, why didn't he go to the police? His reason for not going is because he cared about the alleged assault, but Angel never did, which is why he confronted Shinblade at Combo Breaker. That, uh, that doesn't really answer the question, but okay. Silly question two, why did he teabag Shinblade instead of going to the police? Shadow only added the teabag to show context how Shinblade shifted when it was brought up. It's about the lack of respect he has for Shinblade. The teabag isn't what sparked this. Talking to Zuzu sparked this. He also states that Zuzu and Shinblade pulled multiple stories out of thin air, and if that doesn't scream guilt, I don't know what else does. That, uh, that doesn't really answer the question, but okay. And finally, silly question three. Why did he post this on Twitter? Shadow never wanted this to go public until Zuzu mentioned he's had prior allegations, as well as having another friend that allegedly had a similar situation with Shinblade. As to why he'd called these important questions silly is a mystery, but don't worry about that too much as there's a hefty analysis to dive into. Part two, a silly analysis for silly questions. I need to dig through Angel's story for a bit since I can't help but feel we're missing some context here. I find it extremely odd that from Angel's point of view, Timblade's this sexual predator out of nowhere the moment he starts drinking. I think a more fair speculation would be that the sexual tension was present on both sides since he did mention her OnlyFans. I think we're missing a lot of context from the conversation they had. It's not completely out of left field to assume they were about to do something in the car, but I personally think it's weird you get drunk and be intimate with somebody you barely know unless that kind of relationship is already established. Something else that didn't sit right with me is Angel's bold decision of staying in the car. You're telling me after seeing Shinblade speed walk to the car, pick up multiple red flags, feel on her chest, see him whip it out so elegantly. While listening to Shinblade say, let me stick it in for 10 seconds, you say you done, I'll pull out. Although it probably wasn't five minutes, Angel did stay in the car before eventually leaving. I'm sorry, but does that not bother 
anybody. The nigga is staring you down while he's jacking it and you choose to stay? If Angel in her own words got off vibes, why didn't she leave? I understand Angel was desensitized because she's dealt with this before. It doesn't make sense how Angel shit talks him so much yet chose to hang around after watching this desperate display. This nigga is already a cornball to be honest. This nigga's a corn. This nigga's lame. He don't get no pussy. I'm not blaming her for what happened. I just think it's weird she stayed in the car. She even admits it twice in her story. The thing he say is like, what you been on? And I thought that was weird. Cause I'm like, nigga, I don't, what you mean what I been on? I don't know you. So that should have been the first red flag and I should have ran him. Hey. He's like, I seen your Twitter. I should have really ran after that. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't, I was pressed. Depending on their distance away from the venue, somebody had to see them outside at this point. Pinblade claimed he has a witness who saw them in the car during the phone call he had with Shadow. So she, she, she didn't tell you no multiple times. I have a witness of my friend being outside. He saw us walking together. So, okay. He saw us in the car together. However, that has yet to be confirmed. Zuzu also claims she has eyewitness testimony relating to Angel's story. There's only so much Zuzu could tell me, so take this with a grain of salt. Now I can speak on the turtleneck statements. Angel refers to Shinblade having a turtleneck twice in her story and continued to do so anytime Shinblade was talked about. For example, in this video here, she refers to Shinblade having. Ninja, ninja, ninja turtles. Turtles but how I know you got a Ninja Turtle? I'm gonna be honest, it is extremely suspect Angel might know what Shimblake's dick even looks like. I don't think she'd keep saying if that were the case. When trying to gather information, I ran into Zuzu. She brought up her theory about Angel's true intentions. Zuzu believes that since Angel used to be an OnlyFans girl, she went to Combo Breaker, an FTC tournament to sell pussy. Along with that, apparently Angel was virtually naked with how she was dressed in the venue. The fuck is you what talking the fuck about, was that? After that weird exchange was had, I joined the Twitter space to find out if this could be confirmed in any way. I mean, Shadow did say people were open to talk about how they feel and ask questions. I'll join the space, confirm or debunk Zuzu's theory, and be done with it. I never got the chance to explain myself, so I want everyone to keep the following in mind. Angel mentioned what she wore in the Twitter space, talked about being cold, and said Shinblade tried pulling her shorts away. I'm getting more and more miserable as time is going on. I'm cold as hell in this venue. I am miserable. He started dry humping me and trying to pull my shorts to the side. With my the boy wanted on. photo evidence to see. I had on a tank top and I had on a motherfucking shirt, a little uh, button up shirt. The alleged assault took place outside, and unless you're fucking daredevil, I'm positive anyone at an FGC tournament in the summer would see anybody being virtually naked inside and outside the venue. Hell, you probably wouldn't even get past security, let alone the front door. Another thing they love to leave out is that Shadow pointed out both him and Angel had matching outfits. Zuzu mentioned, uh, she, she talked about what you were wearing that day when it happened, and I just wanted okay. to know if that was okay to ask. Cause she, 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 she was like, um, I wish I had photos of how she was dressed. She had on virtually no clothes. That's not what? true because we were matching. We had matching outfits on. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe they took pictures at the event. It wouldn't make sense for her to be naked since they were matching. Having pictures would help put Zeus theory to rest. Again, this was right after Shadow mentioned having matching outfits. When I asked if Shadow had any pictures, I was removed as a speaker, then bombarded with a bunch of stupid questions I couldn't respond to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but all of these questions. Because I just don't understand why you would hold on to the story for so long. All of these questions were. It's her story. Hold on, hold on. I'm it's her story. What? Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Before you do that, so let me let me break this down for you. She tells me she's sexually assaulted, but she doesn't really care. Okay. I'm pissed because that's my friend, but I want something to happen. So I go to the police station and I tell them, hey, my friend was sexually assaulted. And they were like, okay, well, where is she? I'm like, oh, she's in her hotel room because she doesn't really care about the matter, but I care. They're going to look at me like I'm a fucking idiot. Are you stupid? I mean, I also think it's weird what am that I gonna she doesn't do? care. Like I know she said in her video. Okay, that okay. So why would I waste my time if she doesn't care? But I care because he called himself my fucking friend, and my friends wouldn't do that. These questions were answered. I mean, I so just still think it's the, strange you can that the, the only thing you kind of could do was teabag him. And all I gotta say is, so you want me to go kill Marquise, him? 
Mark do you want me to go kill him? What? Like, what? What else am I gonna do? Hey, tell somebody. Hey, hold, hold on, real quick. Real quick. And I did. I told oh, yeah. Twitter. Oh, yeah. Mark, he's clear for you, bro. First and clear foremost, him. it don't matter. It don't matter what a person wears. Consent is consent, no matter what. You wasting a dumbass question. I'm not about to be cordial, nice, or any of that shit, bro. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. You asking a whole dumbass question now. A person, a person knowing the situation, right? Regardless how long that fucking shit is, that is up to Nikki and and Shadow if they want to bring that shit to light. It don't fucking matter. Why are you asking a victim or any victim, right? Regardless, you knowing this long, why did you wait this long? Do you know how stupid you sound? Like I said before, and I I think he was in here from the jump, but Shadow probably wanted to say something right then and there. Right then and there. He probably wanted to take it to the police. But like Shadow said, if he goes to the police, which is true, by the way, which is very fucking true, they gonna look at that nigga stupid. They gonna look at him like, what you mean that she don't care, nigga? So you just wasting our fucking time just as much as you wasting your damn time? They gonna look at that nigga like he crazy. You know how dumb you sound asking this stupid ass questions, nigga? My main thing is you really just got this from Zoo? Like, you're not, you're not helping their case. What she had to say about, do you see what she was wearing as a woman? Are you for real? What I was wearing. So basically what you're saying is, I was asking for it, right? That's what you're implying, right? No, I got something better. Hey, PK, let me ask you this question. <laughs> he can't speak no more. Oh, well, shit. Well, PK, yeah, let, let him I, I don't know if you ever been to, a, if you old enough, have you ever been to a strip club? And if you have, strippers walk around naked, right? Okay, so if a stripper walk past me and she butt ass naked, do that give me the right to slap her ass? Yes or no? Nope. Unless you got, you got, unless you got some dollars in your hand, no. Exactly, bro. And like, I'm at a strip club on what where they what what they do. The club with the quickness, nigga. No ifs, ands, or buts. The bounce, bouncer gonna steal you right in your damn mouth. The bouncer is gonna hit you right in your damn mouth. mouth. Like, like, what are we talking about? How? You have to get the point is it's called consent. I don't give a damn if she wore a thong on her motherfucking head around the venue. Nigga, like what the fuck? Like what the fuck? Boy, look, let me shut up. I'm I'm I'm, I'm done. Nah, bro, you make you make sense bro. though, cause like if we're if we're really going there, then I guess that means all the cosplayers that go to these tournaments Bingo. are asking to get uh ah, special it, it, and it, stuff. I'm so saying, like, what bro. the fuck's the point? Well, that, that's that exactly, that's basically question. from his logic. That's like, you are correct. And I mean, your logic and Zuzu. Because you just said that's who you got that from. Like, what the fuck? Her, what, man, boy. And you a black <laughs> woman? And you're I'm sitting with two shit. Shut up, man. That's what y'all, after I done sat on this phone and consoled, and consoled her, everything. She turned around, cap, and then her, her next statement. You should have seen what she was wearing. And then your dumb ass pull up in this face and say, can we have a picture? Freak ass I will send dude, you a picture just, of my nah. asshole. Huh? My actual asshole. And what what is that? What is that accomplishing? Oh, yep. Yep, she deserved it. What the fuck is you talking about? Are y'all stupid? Who asked for a picture? The PK, dumb ass dumb ass. Wait a minute. PK asked you for a picture PK at Combo Breakers? Dumbass. <laughs> he dead ass he asked. He was like, well, Kent, is there a face. picture of what you were wearing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, no, he did ask for that picture. Yeah, yeah, he, like, yeah like, he did. Yeah, he did. I thought said, I... you should have seen what she was wearing. She was practically naked. With, with My boy had wanted on photo on evidence shorts, to see. I had on a tank top, and I had on a motherfucking shirt, a little uh, button-up shirt. My bad. I thought I thought you were saying that was you were literally nasty. Nah, he. Out, I, I thought you were saying he asked you at the venue, but nah, he did. Re, uh, he wanted to see proof of what you had on. Like, yeah, that's another like that weird ass be question. Some solidified evidence as to yeah, you deserve this. Now y'all see why victims don't want to say nothing. Angel and her friends would have you believe that all I did was ask for a picture of what she was wearing while telling everyone that I can be ignored. Before I was kicked, I tried gathering information like how long Shadow knew about this, which is a question he didn't really answer. Go figure. 
So how long did you know about the story? When she told me immediately at Combo Breaker. And from Combo Breaker up until the tournament, how long was that? The tournament happened a few weeks ago, but why is that relevant? The time between Combo Breaker and Shadow posting the story is eight months. That's a very long time to know your best friend was assaulted. Now I can relate to that seeing as I've been in this kind of situation before. You want to respect the victim's wishes and if they don't want the police involved, so be it. Your hands are basically tied at that point. However, I cannot be the only person who thought it was weird that the one thing Shadow could do in this entire situation was teabag Shinblade. What the fuck was that supposed to do? That should teach you some manners, Shinblade. Sexually assault my friends again, and I'll have to show you my real power. Disappear! Freak ass dude. Between the randoms on Twitter and Zuzu, everybody else cares about what Angel was wearing that day, or the fact she was an OnlyFans girl when the alleged assault happened. I don't give a shit. The only reason I asked was because Zuzu was so confident Angel was selling herself at Combo Breaker, so I decided to get answers myself. And as a reminder, Shadow said him and Angel were matching at the event. If I really wanted to see Angel like that, I could go through her media tab on Twitter. I already saw her snapping a Slim Jim while doing research. I just wanted to see this tweet, man. My favorite part about this is how they ignored the fact Shadow said they had matching outfits just so they can insult me or label me as the guy who asked what Angel was wearing. Angel, Shadow, I just want to say thank you. I honestly appreciate showing how open you were to discussion by removing me and others as speakers. In a space where where people were open to discuss how they feel about the situation and outside of it. The point of the space was to let everybody chime in and talk about it because they had a lot to say on the post. Good men, hear me. The boy lies. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go kill him? What? Like, what? What else am I gonna do? Hey, tell somebody. Hey, hold on, hold on, real quick. Real quick. And I did. I told oh, Twitter. Twitter. Okay, so he's Marky, he's like clear. You, bro. First and foremost, he can't speak anymore. No, 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 no. She raised me to, I'm gonna still say what I gotta I say. But she, she you, raised me to respect me women and protect Becky. them and everything. But I, all, I, all I gotta say is Don't that stop, you are, stop, you are indeed stop, a dumb stop, bitch. Stop, and I hope you get the help you need. Stop, Cause get stop, the fuck on. Stop. Oh, I care about hey, women. Hey, no, no, but I didn't come to this No, no, no. She's done wasting our time. She she can't speak no more. She can't, she done. I'm just asking a question. I don't. have nothing did I not just answer? No, you didn't answer the question. You told me to go look, look at I'm going to answer the question. Hold on. Just answer the question. I'm asking the question. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Now, the I mean, I don't understand what you're getting disrespectful. I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> Before moving on, I'd like to bring up something else Angel had to say in the Twitter space. And I just want to say something really quickly. I'm sorry. Um, but at the time when it happened, all I was thinking about was Marquise, his sponsor and his brand. And I was also thinking about how this shit goes when it is brought forth. Like, look how a lot of people acted when this was brought forth. Who wants to willingly do that? Who? Yeah. I kind of understand to a certain extent why she was worried since the case could be told like this. Shadow knew his friend was assaulted for eight months and didn't tell anybody until he teabagged the guy that did it during a tournament. And of course that wouldn't look good for Shadow. Here's the issue with that. Regardless of when the story was released, the fallout she's concerned about would have happened anyway. I don't really see that as a valid excuse not to tell anybody you were assaulted. Did you honestly think anybody won't react to sexual assault allegations in the FGC? Also. You can worry about your friend, but his sponsor and his brand? Why would the victim in this situation worry about their friend's sponsor or brand when they weren't the ones who got assaulted? Unless Angel has knowledge about something we don't know, I don't see any reason to worry about Shadow, his sponsor, or his brand. Around the same time Shadow went public with the events at Combo Breaker, Shadow teabagged Shinblade again. The first time happened in a ranked match that Angel recorded. This little bitch. It's over. Talk about the third floor next time, nigga. Not the second floor. The second floor to get the job done. And the second time was during another tournament. Uh, 
Yeah, fuck that nigga, man. I'm willing to argue that Shinblade has a reason to say what he did to Shadow or anyone that comes after him because a lot of people are accusing him of a crime. Now, obviously, Shinblade is very much in the wrong for mentioning Shadow's suicide attempt by telling him to try again. Nevertheless, the only reason Shinblade had that reaction was because Shadow felt like being petty that day. Furthermore, Shadow does this and is confused on why people say he's clout chasing. It's not about you gaining clout from Shinblade. It's about you doing the very same thing you know is going to piss him off so you can get reactions to post online. You doing it to other people is irrelevant when the fact of the matter is you did it to Shinblade knowing the results. What makes it even better is this tweet Shadow made. If you think I'm going to stop teabagging that blue hedgehog, think again. I'll keep teabagging bagging that faker every time we play. So provoking Shinblade is perfectly fine, but the moment anyone wants validation regarding claims you're making, it's suddenly an issue. The people asking for proof don't want to see Angel being raw dogged in 4k. They want the main accusers declaring Shinblade guilty of sexual assault to give us anything that's not just you saying, he kept dodging the question, he has to be guilty. Stop right there. According to Shadow, you're weird if you want proof for allegations made public via Twitter, where the evidence contains a phone call where the accused is never admits to anything along with a 10 minute recount from one perspective. We should be grateful to know what happened at Combo Breaker because if there was no reaction from Shimblade when he was teabagged, Shadow wouldn't have posted anything and we'd be clueless. Shadow told us he never wanted to go public in the first place. Aside from the trash talk, Shinblade barely reacted when he was teabagged for the third time. Yeah, fuck that nigga, man. As much as Shadow would sense to divert our attention away from the teabag, it's hard to deny it's the catalyst for these events being on Twitter. I don't see the point in releasing it online and not following up on it. This topic was brought up in the Twitter space, and it's a very good point to talk about with the accusers. Unfortunately, Shadow and Angel didn't think so. When challenged on why they never went to the police or what their next step was, this is what followed. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, I don't really know much about what's going on. So I just got some practical questions to ask, and I'm mm -hmm. getting out. Um, a, I guess you've already decided that y'all hadn't went to the cops about it because for whatever reason, y'all felt like that wasn't going to be useful. But have y'all went to them now? I mean, at this point, I guess for me personally, I don't understand the social media thing only because if you're trying to stop other people from having the issue, then it's like, all right, well then stop the person from having the issue. I mean, if this was anything else, it would sound silly to not go to the cops about something this serious. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Well, well, let me finish talking. Okay. Uh, all I'm saying is, okay, you didn't go to the cops. That was back in the past, whatever. I'm just saying, okay, it's out here in the public now. Is there a plan to go to the cops? Like, it, if we're dealing with the people that could possibly be hurt by this, I think somebody else said this, you know, this is not like something that should be, you're only worried about the people in the FGC or the people that you know. Like, if I know a murderer, I'm going to go to the cops. If I know somebody who's robbed, I'm going to the cops. If they're robbing from women's dignity, and it's serious enough for me to come out. I just don't understand why not go that extra step at this, okay. at this point, at this point. So, so what I'm going to tell you is you can rewatch this broadcast and all of your, that question that you just asked will be answered. Multiple times. That did not, like, like, like at this point in this space, that's this space been up for damn near 10 days. And that is what you just came in here and said is beyond me. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not trying to be rude. Well, I'm asking why. But you just listened to like I didn't four listen previous anybody. people talk. No, I just came here like so. You just jumped minutes. on here like two seconds ago, like maybe fifteen yeah. minutes ago. And you seen that this space been going for hours. I have not seen how long it's gone. I just seen it pop up. And, and with before. that being said, just rewatch the broadcast and you have a great night. Thank you so much. Well. Uh, you miss uh, well. I guess y'all aren't answering the question I'm asking. I'm not look, worried about your pet. Listen, your listen, pet listen, listen, Mike. Well, I'm, go, going, I'm not worried about going to the poll. Going to the police won't do anything. We can go to the police. We can file a report, and he can go to a bar, get drunk, and assault another girl, and admit nothing. So, I guess what I'm saying to you is why the reason why not the reason it's on Twitter is because he goes to all these events where all of us. And I'm able to let everyone around all of us know 
through Twitter. That's why it's on Twitter because that's how they're going to find out. Okay, you want me to call every single person at the tournament and let them know, hey, Shinblade sexually assault people. Be careful around. I'm them. not like, against what the going fuck? to Twitter. I'm saying, why are you against also going to the cops? Because it's not going to do anything. It's Why waste my time? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why would I waste I my time? That that's not going to do anything. I what mean, is it so going to do? I'm We're all in three different either. states. She's in Ohio. I'm in Illinois. He's in Memphis. Why do I have to do all of that? What I mean, is that going to do? I guess what I'm thinking about is like, if the idea, and maybe I'm misunderstanding what your idea is. <laughs> if the idea is you don't want it to happen to nobody else, at least take a legal precaution to let me tell you book. something rewatch this like like i've been trying to be very respectful sir but rewatch this seven hour broadcast and what you're saying will be answered i don't know how much more clear i gotta get on that and but if i have I, to repeat myself again sir i'm gonna get disrespectful i so mean if you, don't have anything, if you ain't got nothing useful i'm just asking a question i don't have nothing useful did did i not just answer it no you didn't answer the question you told me to go look look, 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 i'm gonna answer hold on just answer let me answer i'm asking i'll tell you cut his mic now oh this person am i talking spanish i mean i don't understand what you're getting disrespectful about i'm asking his mic why is this why do i still hear this man hold up Wait a minute. Why waste my time? Why would I waste my time? What is it going to do? Why would I waste my time? What is it going to do? Coming from someone who's trying to protect the community, you should be the last person asking these questions. To keep myself from wasting any more of Shadow's time, I'm about to answer his silly question. Information about the alleged assault could have been documented from a legal standpoint. Therefore, we'd have a lot more information from the law and not a Twitter post at 2.57 in the morning. So regardless if the police move forward or not, or if Shadow looks dumb when he explains what happened, at the very least, he can say he tried. Although Shadow makes a great point. Why would you waste your time? Why would you waste your time arguing on Twitter? Why would you waste your time trolling your friend's sexual assaulter and then post a reaction? Why would you waste your time posting the story when the victim doesn't even care? I'm I'm desensitized to it. You know, like the average woman, I feel like she would be traumatized by what happened, but I just wasn't. I'm not saying Shadow's in the wrong for exposing Shinblade or anyone's behavior. Here's the problem. It's been three months since he brought the story to the public and the only thing I've seen anybody do is argue or complain. No, no, no. How is Shinblade still in the community? How many people does he have to sexually assault before we wipe this creep from our community? Is anything gonna be done? He's still making content while actively competing in and hosting his own tournaments. What if his recent wins was April 1st for God's sakes? YouTube, do something. Please ban Shinblade. He's a sex offender. Stop fucking crying, bitch. Where, where, where? I don't wanna fucking hear it. Crying like a fucking baby isn't a solution when someone in the community has allegations pinned on them. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Pinblade will not get banned because niggas are whining on Twitter due to allegations that haven't been proven true yet. If anybody wants results, have some fucking urgency. Contact T.O. to propose a ban. Come together to form a plan when this happens in the future. Make an effort to show how Shinblade is a wolf in sheep's clothing you portray him to be. Do something other than bitch and moan about Shinblade being in the community. I haven't seen a single discussion about one of their longest running members who allegedly assaulted somebody. The accusers had a four hour Twitter space where possible solutions could have been talked about, but you can guess what happened when they were. He can't speak no more. She's done wasting our time. She, if, she can't speak you, no more. She can't, she's done. I'll tell you. Cut his mic. Now. For all we know, Shinblade's name is being dragged in the mud from false allegations, and the most he'd get from Shadow is, I'm sorry. People have reasons to be skeptical, especially when you're spending your time giving nobody's on Twitter attention. I want you. I want, I want you. I want you. Peep my block list. Only got two people on my block list from the FGC. Two. And I've been going to, I've been going to war. I've been strapping my boots up every fucking day. And I only got two people on my block list, right? But let me explain why this man right here is on my block list. First of all, you so fucking weird that you went to my page, right? You went to my page and felt the need to communicate the fact that I blocked you to another person. You typed my name into your search engine to check my page. 
I don't even know who the fuck you are. I just know you're a. I'm going to keep it cute. I'm going to keep it cute. But you was making posts about me being funny, trying to say I'm, I'm a pig. You're bigger than me. I can tell by how that lip hang down to your titties. You're bigger than me, sir. You want to go pound for pound? As a matter of fact, you trying to go pay stuff for pay stuff? I'll go first. Because it's giving broke. It's giving poor. But y'all, that's not it, though. This man tried to say I look like this. Where? Is it? Is it? You look more like this thing than I could ever. Than I could, than I could ever in life. You know it. I know it. We all know it. We, you're hit with bricks. Okay. I'm going to keep it cute. I'm going to keep it cute. But y'all, not only did this man like say that, but he literally was fat shaming me. This fat ass man, this big, big, buick bitch ass nigga was fat shaming me. Fat shaming me. Me. But hold on. Wait, wait. It gets better. You see this lovely young woman right here? You, that that's she big ain't she okay who in her comments who in her comments oh hold on we got another bigger woman oh oh okay all right i mean i mean she she got a nice little shape on her but y'all get the point right oh wait 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 oh who big ass in the comments oh you sliding your way to that fat ass pussy ain't you you're slide you're skating your way into that fat ass coochie ain't you I don't know this man from a can of paint, but he feels some type of way because I shared an experience that I had with another individual in the FGC. So you felt the need to disrespect me and I don't know you from a can of paint. What shit on you if you was a toilet bitch? And I blocked you because every time I seen your name, your face in my feed, it pissed me off that you would even try to come for me looking the way you look. You don't even post pictures. You know you ugly. You know you a big back. You know this. So trying to come for me simply because I shared my experience and that made you so upset. I don't know why it made y'all bitches so upset, but it's very weird. So yeah, track it tracks what? What tracks is you're a big bitch lover. Yeah, nigga. And if I tried you, I could have you. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop mentioning me. Because I don't know you and I don't give a fuck to know you. So I'm going to unblock you so you can see this. So I can answer your concerns. And then I'm going to block your big ass right back because I hate your face. Simple. Thank you. And just one more, one more thing. Just one more thing. Look at you! Look at you! Everybody, everybody that has have some crazy to say about me, look at, look at you, sir! I gotta block you again. I might not even be able to unblock you, gang. Look! I simply just will never be able to understand or comprehend why y'all, the, 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 the crusty, bro. Look at the taco meat on, like, you have so much shit that you need to work on, you know, for yourself. I am the last, sir, the reason why you was going to my page was to watch my content, win it? <laughs> yeah, it was. <coughs> <coughs> Stop fucking playing with me. Get a skincare routine. Get some business. Instead of attention seeking through ratios or baiting reactions from the man you claim sexually assaulted your best friend, how about showing evidence that proves Shinblade is this massive FGC criminal? Others like Max Ninja, Texadecimal, and Moni put out their own statements regarding Shinblade's past behavior and that's good. I just wish they were out sooner. I know that could be tough, but they posted their statements a month or so after Shadow made his tweet. To me or anyone else, it can look like they waited until the drama simmered down to post it. I'd prefer to have victims release their stories the moment it happens rather than later so they won't get framed for jumping on the bandwagon. However, Angel and Shadow say I'm dumb and weird for thinking of that. Since they're experts on the topic at hand, let's 
let's take notes from the dynamic duo themselves and see how you all at home should handle situations like this in the future. Angel accepted an invitation to drink with Shinblade, someone she barely knew, who quickly showed a plethora of red flags but was so focused on drinking that she didn't think anything of it. All of a sudden, he starts groping Angel, touching himself in front of her, and begging to have sex with her the minute he starts drinking. Angel stays around Shinblade, which unfortunately causes her to get assaulted a second time. As opposed to notifying TLs or security what happened, Angel chose to gossip about this experience with her best friend. However, I can't have Angel take all the credit, so allow me to properly introduce our MVP of today's story, Shadow 23. To start things off, he relayed the information to his friends, where apparently the entire Detroit scene knew about what happened. All of Detroit, FGC, knew at Combo Can Break. Can you tell me how though? That's all I'm asking. Cause we was all in a group setting at Combo Breaker when you told us what happened. And me, I told you? Yes, and me, At Combo you, Breaker? Yes, me, you, and a couple other niggas from the Detroit FGC had the conversation with you cause you said you was gonna confront the nigga about this shit. And confronted Shinblade multiple times with no results. So he and his friends keep the story under wraps out of respect for Angel because as we all know, It's her story. During that eight month time span, Band, Angel and Shadow allegedly gave Shinblade time to hash things out, but again, no results. Shadow and Shinblade enter the Spirit Realm Weekly Tournament, where Shadow teabagged Shinblade knowing what he did. He then egged him on in Twitch chat and posted about the events at Combo Breaker only because Shinblade couldn't handle being teabagged. He ignores important questions that could mitigate concerns people had with how we handled the situation. Because we clearly didn't need to know why you teabagged Shinblade as a gotcha moment instead of going to the police. It's just another silly question. He invites everybody to join an echo chamber under the guise of open discussion, which was a coin toss if you got kicked or not, regardless if you had a genuine question or wanted to confirm a stupid theory someone had. Shadow wonders how he's fishing for reactions from Shinblade by teabagging his friend's supposed assaulter knowing full well the reaction he's gonna get then playing dumb like wow guys I can't believe this Shinblade guy really wished death on me and to top it all off Shadow didn't speak to the police because what am I gonna do why waste my time why would I waste my time bitch why do I have to do all of that what is that gonna do Zuzu alluded to Angel selling herself at comma breaker while the peanut gallery constantly make fruitless attempts at making fun of Angel for doing only fans as if she fucking cares don't think i'm an easy target because of what i did in my past i keep that up because that was a part of me that was a part of my life and i'm not ashamed of it and i don't hide shit about me additionally they mirror shadow by baiting responses from the people who support angel and it works every single time Max Ninja and Texadecimal were indecisive to show evidence relating to their encounters with Shinblade. I was very respectful towards Texadecimal and she ended up showing me screenshots along with some hints to look out for when going over them, which I am thankful for. Once Angel reveals that I'm the nigga who sounded weird since day one, she backpedals and makes this tweet. Even though we were having a conversation about it, even though I told her what my goal was, she completely ignores that so she can feel justified in making this tweet. Max Ninja made a statement detailing his previous previous encounter with Shinblade and Zuzu four years ago. However, he also ignored the context of another tweet I made, told others I can be ignored, and just like with Angel, Shadow, and Tex, referred to me as the guy who asked what Angel was wearing. I fail to understand how both sides want their opinions to be heard, but throw hissy fits or fight like it's high school. No, 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 no. no. She raised me to, re I'ma still say what I gotta I say, yeah, but sh you, she raised me to respect women and protect them and everything but I, all i all i gotta say is Look, that stop, you are stop, you are indeed stop, a stop, dumb bitch so here's what everybody's been up to throughout this entire situation angel claims we don't need Shinblade's side as if we haven't had previous cases that say otherwise max ninja and texadecimal were reluctant to show receipts when asked because what other proof do we need besides their own testimony we already caught them doing x and y that should be enough even when they do it's only because they were pressured into doing so or in texadecimal's case it's because they don't owe us anything shadow angel 
Angel and Max Ninja will dismiss your opinion due to bias or give up on convincing you to take their side if you make a valid point. Let's not forget the piles upon piles of petty insults thrown on both sides just for good measure. Angel's most recent scuffle resulted in her writing a book about a baseless claim she just had to respond to. You want to know how Shinblade is still a thing or why he's still in the community? It's because the people who aren't involved and the accusers are harping on the chance you believe them when they say Shinblade is guilty. Angel and Shadow are lying and if that works then maybe, just maybe they can get the other side banned without letting either side defend themselves. Both sides can cry wolf all they fucking want. Don't expect anybody to take your words at face value without showing anything that supports your argument. I'm not in defense of Shinblade, but it's very concerning that seeing Angel's story makes people comfortable calling Shinblade a sex offender. Texadecimal straight up told me, I didn't owe you any of this, but I'd rather you be informed than not. In my honest opinion, Yes, you do. When you're accusing somebody of anything, and in this case, a crime, you bear the responsibility of displaying information that proves your case. Accusers have to understand that statements from one perspective, especially if they don't have evidence, isn't enough anymore. All I want is for people to keep an open mind when viewing cases like this in the future, so we don't have repeat cases like Noel Brown. All things must come to an end. I could easily throw Angel's story in the garbage due to the fact she used to do OnlyFans. Everybody seems to gloss over the fact Angel spoke out about being a victim of sexual assault multiple times. Y'all gotta understand, I was sexually assaulted when I was a kid, which neither here nor there. Um, and also like with my sex history work, men try me bro. Wow, a sexual assault victim expressing herself sexually due to her own trauma as a child? I could also embarrass myself by writing a 22 page manifesto shit talking people I hate in a niche part of the FGC. This shit is so fucking sad, bro. Why I hate 10 people in the virtual fighter community. This is the most pathetic thing I have ever seen, bro. What I won't do is be irresponsible by labeling Shinblade as a sex offender without hard proof supporting that claim. Unless he shows up on the registry, I think it's best to keep those comments to yourself. The only people who know what truly happened outside the venue are Angel and Shinblade. All anyone can do now is wait until this goes to court. But here's the thing about that. I'm not sure if it will. I think it's possible Shinblade could take legal action based on what Juicy JC said in the Twitter space, who shocked wasn't kicked. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I know that ain't who I think it is. I want you to receive what I'm about to tell you for your protection. This is not something to attack you, okay? Um, mm -hmm. You need to go look and see if Shinblade is a branded company on his own, whether he's LLC, sole proprietor, whatever the case may be. Uh, I may or may not be sitting next to an attorney that might have been listening to this. And what you need to know is that him using the term defamation is very pointed. And this is how this 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 is how bad the justice system is, because you get a victim who suffers this travesty. And, you know, the question of to file or not to file um, comes up. You have to deal with all types of traumatic consequences that you're you're just left alone in the dark. The statute of limitations in some states is just so convoluted that it's hard for you to even make a report. And then if you can make a report, it's on you to take on the almighty quote unquote man who has done this to you, right? Um, but the reason why I say that this situation is messed up because now, because there's nothing legal that you have filed in regard to, regarding to this situation, this all boils down to gossip. That's the legal part of it. So what he's going to try to do, if he is a branded entity, or if he belongs as an employee or a part of a branded entity that relates directly to the community, he can go to court and file an argument that you are defaming him with things like this Twitter space. So then the topic of conversation does not go to your sexual assault at all. In that case, it goes to defamation. So the narrative of you wanting to validate what happened to you it gets tossed into the mud and then their argument is going to be well there was no case filed there was no you know proceedings there was no nothing it's just her on this twitter space trying to get clout with 200 listeners i, I don't understand why my client has to go through this this is defamation he's a branded entity he's contributed to the community with x y and z and toxic shit talk and discord and this kind of tournament and that kind of tournament and this kind of youtube video you know and then it all just drags down to oh well when it comes to defamation 
because you didn't have any validation to what was going on with your side of the case, they're going to ruin his favor. So mm-hmm. honestly, this whole Twitter space need to be scrapped because this whole thing is just going to work for him in court. The reason why I'm not confident about this is due to this video Angel made claiming the lawyer was fake. Y'all have lawyers, right? Let's get into that. So y'all sent us the cease and desist, right? And it was basically saying, y'all have 48 hours to apologize to my client, this, that, and the third. And this man put inside the cease and desist that every single thing I said was cap. But how I know you got a Ninja Turtle if everything I said was cap? But I digress. So let me explain to you, Zuzu, a cease and desist, it's nothing. I can make a cease and desist. You can make a cease and desist. We don't have to honor a cease and desist. Because it said inside the cease and desist, that if y'all don't respond within 48 hours, we're gonna press charges. What are the charges? Are they in a room with us? Are they in a room with us? Cause I've been said, take us to court, ho. I've been said that, but let's get more into this cease and desist, shall we? I called the number on the cease and desist to figure out what's going on. Okay, I got sent this document and I wanna know what's going on. This man answered the phone and was like, who is this? I'm like, damn, this a, this a law firm? I'm like, uh, you know, me and Marquise was actually on the phone together. He like, oh yeah, this is Marquise, this is Nikki, and we just was calling to see about, you know, what's going on with the cease and desist. And this man said, you have to talk to your attorney about it. I said, well, I did bring it up to my attorney, and they told me that it's fraudulent, that we can ignore it. And he hung the fuck up. <laughs> he hung up, but it gets worse. Not only is this a gaming attorney, like, do you know what that means? This situation at hand, if your man is trying to sue us for defamation and cyberbullying, even though that goes out the window after he wished death on Marquise, just to let y'all know that, just throwing that tip out there. Um, But this is a real life situation, not a gaming situation. This lawyer that y'all brought to us with this cease and desist, he does not handle defamation cases. <laughs> He's a gaming attorney. He reads contracts for gamers. Hmm? Make that make sense. Then on top of that, I went to the address on the cease and desist, and this is what came up. J and J don't even come up for the address that was on the cease and desist. So long story short, y'all brought a fake ass lawyer, and what my lawyer told me that this is 100% witness intimidation. So if y'all really pressing charges, and if um your man is actually innocent, why the fuck would y'all bring a fake ass lawyer? Why? Why would y'all do that? Everybody keep talking about go to the go to the police. I did. I filed a report, and guess what? My detective was letting me know. Yeah, we've been trying to get in contact with Mr. Marcus, but he he not talking. He not saying nothing. But guess who is? Zuzu. <laughs> Zuzu talking. <laughs> I hope your story lines up, boo. I couldn't find anything on their website relating to defamation cases, but I remember calling them and was told they do, but take that with a grain of salt. Even if the lawyer stuff is a bit shaky in my opinion, we still have to rely on the law and the response from the Tekken community. With Combo Breaker coming up next month, I hope everybody has a safe time at the event. Lastly, I wanted to send a message to Shinblade, who's going through such a tough time with Angel, Shadow, and their supporters harassing him. I've been in the FGC for over 20 years. I've worked for what I have for the ground up. Most of y'all know me for years. Think of my character and who I am as a person before believing any accusations about me. Uh, as I said, I am taking legal action, so I cannot write a statement, but if you're rocking with me, shut up! You can eat shit, nigga. Nobody gives a fuck how long you've been in the FGC. Go check out my other videos dealing with allegations. One deals with allegations in the roleplay community, and the other one deals with the Noel Brown stuff, which is eerily similar to the Shinblade situation. Follow my Twitter at PK Squared with three Qs. Consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member so you can get early access to videos, your name in the credits, and to help the channel. My Discord is free to join, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Here comes a new challenger! Small update. One of the TOs at Texas Showdown sent an email to somebody about the Shinblade stuff. Reason being, Shinblade is currently at Texas Showdown. In my opinion, they handled it the best way they possibly could, but to no one's surprise, Angel, Shadow, and a bunch of other people are mad about the response given. Nobody wants to see you being assaulted. If anything, the TO's right. This should have been handled with the appropriate authorities and not on social media. Angel, Shadow, I understand your frustration. We all know this isn't the response you guys wanted, but you gotta hold that shit. Until there's a conviction, you can only expect so much from the community. You have to respect the decisions from TOs on whether they want to ban Shinblade or not. Okay, that's everything. Bye!